Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Google Ads to Wix in 2023. Of course, Google Ads is a powerful advertising platform and Wix is a popular website building platform. So in this comprehensive guide, we'll walk you through the essential steps to integrate Google Ads with your Wix websites for effective advertising campaigns. So let's dive right into this video and make sure to stick by to this guide and let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience so first we'll have to go and sign in or sign up for a google ads account to do so go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with here in my case i'm actually of course going to use like brave browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have once you open that browser make sure to go to the url section basically here you'll have to type ads.google com and hit the enter button once you do so you'll be taken to the home screen or main screen of google ads here if you don't know much about it of course first of all you can scroll down read more information about this website and familiarize yourself have a general idea about google ads and then if you have an account you can simply go to the top right corner sign in option click on it to log into your account and if you don't you'll have to go and set and click on start now to create an account for yourself for me i'll just go here and click on sign in to log into my account as you can see I'll be logged in into the dashboard right away. So now what we'll need to do, just go and open a new tab again, go to wix.com first of all, and you'll have to do the same. Read more information about the website if it's your uh, first time and log in into your account as you can see at the top right corner if you have an account. If you don't, you'll have to go and click on get started instead. If you're interested about the pricing here, I'll just pause the video. Uh, you can simply pause the video and check all the pricing by your own. I'll just click on it so you can see it, as you can see. So pause the video, check the features, everything that comes with it. This website plans, this business e-commerce plans, as you can see. And this is enterprise plan. Uh, of course, you'll have to request a call for it. So here we'll have to, I'll have to click on login. And of course, I'll log in with Google. Of course, you can log in with Google, Facebook, and Apple, and even SSO. If you don't want to get through all the boring steps of logging in, even creating your account, you'll be able to create with those three options. Here, of course, they are asking me to add the number. I'll just click on that now. And here, as you can see, now I'm logged in into my site. So there's two options to connect those. If you want just some tracking on your website, you can simply go to campaigns here, go to create, conversion, conversation action here, and let's just wait for the page. Here, I'll choose, of course, uh, the kind of conversation you want to track. I'll just choose websites here, and here we'll have to type uh, the domain name of our websites. So let's just go to this website as an example. Let's just wait for this website until it's uh, done. And here, of course, what we'll have to do is simply go uh, out into our site. And let's see. Let's just wait for the site until it's opened. And of course, we'll have to get a URL and simply paste the URL here. As simple as that. So let's just, and while we're waiting for that, of course, we'll wait for this site until it's prepared. Basically, we'll have to go and do that, then click on scan to see if the URL is working or not. So it's going to be very basic. So as you can see, uh, let's see here your domain. It should be like somewhere here. So if we go here to the top right corner and click on publish, they will show us like the site as you can see. Here is it. So view sites as an example. And we'll just get the URL. So go get that and go back here. Paste this here. Click on scan and just wait for it until it's scanned. As you can see, it's going to be the website. Everything I guess is working. Everything is correct. And let's see if they scan it. Yeah, as you can see. And here, of course, you've successfully like already connected your Wix with uh, Google Ads. If you want like some tracking or something like that, you can, of course, create your conversation actions from website event, depending on whatever you want. You want to track like purchase, add to cart, begin checkout, whatever you want. Other than that, uh, I have a tool that's called Zapier. So just go and open a new tab, go and type zapier.com at the enter button. Here, of course, you'll have to do the same login for an account. If you have an account, if you don't, just go and create a new account for yourself. Here, go to the left panel and click on apps. And what you'll have to do here simply go to search apps, uh, type Google Ads, connect it. For me, uh, Google Ads already connected, as you can see. And I'll just type here Wix and see if they have the Wix. As you can see, they have Wix, so it connects Wix as well. So as you can see here, 
I'll just connect Wix and I'll choose this website. As you can see, I didn't have to log into my account or anything because I'm already logged in into Wix in a new tab or another tab. So here, of course, I'll have to agree to whatever they are asking for. And now my two apps are connected to Zapier. This Zapier, what, what does Zapier does, of course? If you don't know much about us, as, again, when you are creating your account in the home screen, make sure to scroll down uh, in the home screen because every website, of course, like explains what it does in the home screen. So basically just read that and you'll have at least a general idea so you can understand what I mean. So here, just go and create a Zap. This we can use this for automation. We can automate whatever we want between those two things, between Wix and, Wix and Google Ads. As an example, if you would like just to connect it, you can simply use this AI tool to connect it. So as an example, connect, I'll just type here, connect uh, Google Ads with Wix and I'll hit generate or enter button. And as you can see, they will create everything, the triggers, the actions, the events for me, as you can see, without any problem. So here, uh, this may be mm, a workflow to connect Google Ads with Wix. You can try using trigger like win a lead. Uh, as you can see, because I did not specify what I want exactly, that's why they are telling me this. So for you, you can specify what you want. As an example, when they, uh, they receive a new uh, lead from entry, you will be, uh, or in Wix, you will create or update user, as you can see. So that's it. You can specify here what you want to do between Google Ads and Wix, and they will create that to you and in zips here and triggers and actions and de uh, depending of course uh, what's the trigger if the trigger hits what action should we does and of course once you turn it on if everything is working correctly and you turn it on this will be done automatically whenever you want this tool is very 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 useful zapier is actually very useful for connecting a lot of apps not just wix and google ads so here let's just click on try it and of course, you will have to finish or solve anything is, is installed. As you can see here, the account will have to choose one for me to choose. So you'll have to choose the trigger for me. I'm not going to through that. And Wix will have to sign in. Of course, it will go on now or let just sign in. If they still show it to you, just click on sign in. And as you can see here, what you'll have to do, your account uh, is name. So you'll have to type the name of the account here and API key and get the API secrets key. Once you get this, click on yes, continue to Wix answers. This is just for Wix answers, of course, for other things, they may ask you to do other things. So just enter what you asked here and you can always go back to the AI tool, ask it for what you want and you will be good to go. So if you reached the sponsor of this video, congratulations, you've successfully connected Google Ads to your Wix website in 2023. Of course, this integration will enable you to track conversation effectively and optimize your advertising campaigns. So regularly monitor your Google Ads account for performance insights. So thank you for watching. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe for our channel for more health for stories like this one. So happy advertising, of course, with Google Ads and good luck with your website. And I'll see you in the next video.